Hello, this is Dr. Michael Myers, and again, I'm course lead faculty for BST 322, Introduction to Biomedical Statistics, in San Diego, California at National University. In today's short video presentation, I'm going to show you how to make a cross-tabulation or contingency table, and essentially how to cross-tabulate two variables in StatCrunch. So to get going, again, we're going to open up our StatCrunch, and we're going to go to our data window here, a very similar spreadsheet to what we see in Excel. And to start with, we can do an example. This is one that I do in my uh, discussion groups and in my class as well. Looking at a cross-tabulation between two variables, here we're going to look at a study, a uh, very small amount of n numbers here, so we can type these in very easily. We're going to look at 12 patients in a vitamin C study. Right, so here we have six people, of our 12 took vitamin C, six people took a sugar pill, and then we decided uh, who got the cold and who didn't get the cold. So from the data here we can see that uh, only one person got a cold with vitamin C and four people got a cold with the sugar pill. And the question is how do we make a contingency table for this data? How do we make, how do we cross tabulate these two variables so we can see what's going on in, in the interaction here between taking vitamin C and getting a cold? Well to do that in our data sheet, basically each row of our data sheet is a subject. So what we want to do is label our variables. So we can make our first variable whether they got a cold or not. So we can just describe that as cold. And we can just delete that variable and type in cold. The second variable is going to be uh, their status of vitamin C. So we'll click delete and get rid of that variable too and type in the vitamin C status, or we can call it vitamin C. So again, these uh, cross-tabulation is done between categorical variables, right? So this is not a number. We're not measuring how much of a fever they have or how many vitamin C tablets they took. What we're really doing here is doing a yes or no type of question. So for the cold, remember, we have 12 patients total, and six of them took the vitamin C. So if we start there, we can just type in yes for vitamin C and again those were six patients took that so we can just copy and paste for these and again we could have imported this data from an Excel spreadsheet if we had it in Excel but we're going to go ahead and type these in so again we have six patients did not take it so we can just copy that down and again we're going to have 12 patients so we're going to have 12 rows six yes and six no. Remember from the data the vitamin C group, right, only one person got a cold. So we'll put that in so that's the one person's a yes and the rest are going to be no. So this is exactly how you would code in data or type in data if you did the study yourself when you're reporting out the patient data. Okay so so we have our six there with uh, only one person getting a cold and the rest did not. And then remember in the vitamin C group who didn't take the vitamin C that got a sugar pill, four people got a cold. So we put that data in. So that would be four yeses. And again we can just paste that down, four yeses and two no. Okay, so there's our data. Again, we have 12 rows, 12 patients, and we have two variables, vitamin C, whether they took it or not, cold, whether they got one or not. So to do the cross-tabulation, in StatCrunch it's very easy to do. We're just going to go up to the Stat button, and we click on Tables, and we click on Contingency. So I'll move that over so we can see that one in the video. So again, we go to Stat, Tables, contingency and here we're going to do with data because we typed all the data in. With summary would be if we just put the numbers in like 4 and 2 and, and 5 and 1. But here we have the data so we're going to click with data. So first thing we do we get that dialog box again. So here's our uh, row variable and remember that our dependent variable is going to go in the rows. So often the dependent variable is the one we're interested in. Right? So whether they took vitamin C we're not too interested in. Remember dependent variables tend to be outcome variables. So here we're going to select the cold because whether people get sick or not that's something we're interested in. Then the column variable is going to be the vitamin C whether they took vitamin C or not. 
And again, we can group them or we can click on uh, where things were done, but here we're just going to click next to keep it simple. Uh, we're going to display the row percent, the column percent, the percent total. Now expected count we're going to do in week three of this course, so we'll leave expected count for when we do hypothesis testing for these uh, categorical variables later in the course. And we can we can click off the, the chi-square test. Again, we're going to do that later in this course, so we'll come back to that in week three. We just click calculate, and very quickly, boom, it's created a contingency table for you in StatCrunch. So what you have here then is your row percent, your column percent, and total percent. Now if you look in your textbook, you can see you get a slightly different look. It has the same sort of things in it, but it's basically for, this is figure 4.1 in the textbook, it's giving you, instead of percent row, percent column, it's telling you exactly what's in what's in what. Percent within the diagnosis, which is the uh, uh, row variable here. Percent within marital status is the percent within column. So when you report these out for your assignments or for your final projects or to put into any kind of report, you want to make this kind of tabulation table. So again, to get this to look like the end result in the textbook, what we want to do is move this into Microsoft Word where we can edit our table because we really want to label what this no yes no yes means to get the real meaning out of it. Even though the software returned the nice row percent, column percent, and total percent for us, we want to be more descriptive in our data here. Especially if we want to put this in our assignment uh, for submission or into a final project or into any publication you might want to put out. So again, to copy the table from StatCrunch, we just click on Options and Copy. Then go into our Word document and we'll simply paste it. So first we can start making our labels here. So now we have our row percent, our column percent, and total percent. We can just put that under the no column here and we can type those in. So to make it look like our textbook figure and to get more out of these, really describe them, the first line is going to be the percent within it's the row percent, percent within row, and in here that percent within row is percent within cold, right, because that's our dependent variable. We can just hit return again and type in percent within the column, and that's going to be percent within vitamin C here. Hit return again, and you can see they're lining up pretty nicely, and the rest is the total, so that's percent within total, or percent of total. And so now we have those labeled really nicely. So instead of just saying row percent, column percent, total, we've got percent within cold, which makes sense here. So it's two out of our row here, two out of seven is the 28.57. The 33 obviously is the two out of six, right? This is our column, percent within vitamin C. And the percent of total, the two out of 12, is our total percent. So again, we can go ahead and copy these into the next one, so they're all nice and labeled. So again, we hit return, paste, same thing for the total. And now we've got our table. So then to label our top here, we can just put, go ahead and put in the label. So actually this one is going to be our dependent variable. So we can type in got a cold or cold, whatever we want to put in here. And to label our columns up here, we can just simply right click and click on to insert, and we can insert a row above. And up here is where we want to put our, um, our column, which no yes, so up here is the took vitamin C group. And to change this in Word, we can merge these cells. So we can put uh, click on merge, and then we have all one here. So this is going to be uh, making one cell for us, and if we want to change that again, we can split the cells, and we really want two columns, right? A blank one, and then our, where we're going to put our label. So we just click on the two and the one, one row, and then we can click on this and we can move it over. So really, up here is our column one. So here, this will be took vitamin C. And then we can get rid of this labeling at the top. So now we have our contingency table that looks now, just a little modifications in Word, now looks like what we have in the textbook. So we've clearly labeled our cost tabulation table here with percent within the rows and percent within the columns. And here it's going to be our rows again, our percent 
within cold, the columns are percent within vitamin C, and then percent of total. So this is again is a very easy way that StatCrunch can make a contingency table for you, cross tabulation between two variables, and just by simple modification in Word or some other processing program, you can then go ahead and clearly label the results you have, and now you've got your cross tabulation table.